In this video, I'm going to share 10 tips within DaVinci Resolve 19 that can instantly make your editing and color grading faster and more efficient. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. The first thing we will explore is the text-based timeline editing feature. Traditionally, when editing interviews, we will have to spend a lot of time watching the whole clips and manually removing unwanted sections, like gaps or silences. But now with this feature, you can achieve the same result with just one click. As you can see, I have already placed my interview clip on the timeline. Now I will go to the media pool, find the clip, and click the transcribe button right here. Once the system finishes analyzing the clip, the transcription menu pops up. This clip is now fully transcribed. The magic happens when you click the small button. Watch as the system automatically edits the clip, removing every gap where I'm not speaking. This could be 20 seconds of me pausing to remember my lines or adjusting the lighting. Diverse result does all that just with one click. Now, when we play the clip, there is no dead air, saving us about 10 minutes compared to the original footage. You can see how much time this feature saves, especially when editing interviews. Moving on to our second tip, timeline color. Traditionally, changing click colors in the timeline helps with organization and easy referencing. But now, Diverse Result allows you to select all clips of the same color at once, making it much faster to move, create, or apply effects to them all together instead of selecting each one individually. For instance, if I want to select all my yellow clips on this timeline, I just go to Timeline, select clips with clips color and choose yellow. Instantly, all yellow clips are selected, allowing me to move or edit them in book. Next, let's talk about our third tip, project switching. You might know you can switch between timeline using the triangle next to the timeline name. But did you know you can also switch between different projects within the same session and work on them simultaneously? To do this, click the project manager icon at the bottom, right-click the empty space and select dynamic project switching. Now open the project, and when you click the project name at the top, a triangle appears, allowing you to switch between projects seamlessly. You can even copy and paste clips between projects, making multiple tasking easier than ever. Our fourth tip is Ripple Delete. Using Ripple Delete will speed up your editing process by tenfold, and once you start, you will never go back to the old way of trimming clips. Typically, we cut a clip, delete the unwanted section, and drag the rest to fill the gap. With Ripple Delete, simply plus Command plus Shift plus Right Bracket to delete the part after the playhead and automatically close the gap. To delete the part before the playhead, plus command plus she plus left bracket and the system will do the rest. It's a game changer for fast editing. And before we move on to our fifth tip, I will want to quickly shout out others to sponsor for today's video. Now, let me ask you a question. What would you create with $100,000? What if I told you that Alice just launched the second year of its biggest creators fund ever, the Alice 100k fund? Whether it's an idea for a music video, feature film, documentary, or even a YouTube video, Alice is now giving everyone a chance to turn their dream video idea into reality. So it's a time to bring your wildest and craziest idea to life and give your dreams a chance. The Alice One JK Funds opens on September 24, and you can submit your idea until October 24. And to join the One JK Fund, post a video on your social showcasing your 100,000 idea. Take Alice.io and use the hashtag Alice One JK Fund, then you are good to go. And for more information about the One JK Fund, please go check the link I put down below inside the description. Also, by using the personal link in the description, you can also get an extra 2 months free after signing up for others. Now, moving on to our fifth tip, which is the highlight clip in the media pool. Fighting a selected clip on your timeline in the media pool is not too hard to achieve. But while you are editing, personally, I feel it's a little bit inefficient doing this process all the time. So here I am going to show you a more convenient way to find a clip in the media pool. And in order to do this, go to Davin's Resolve. Preferences, click the user tab, then editing. 
Scroll down to the general settings section, then enable always highlight current tip in the media pool. Now, whenever you select a clip on your timeline, it will automatically be located in the media pool. Next, move on to our sixth tip, which is the magic selection. Compare with the traditional way to use the regular share max or create a mask manually, now with the magic selection feature, you can very quickly and easy to select your objects and isolate them with individual grading. And all you need to do is just use the selection tool to draw a positive line on the object you want to select. It does a fantastic job of understanding what is irrelevant in your selection. And if for some reason it includes something in irrelevant, you simply just need to draw a negative line and it will deselect it. So now you can see how much time it could save you when you want to isolate the object in your image for grading. Now move on to our seventh tip, which is Smart Reframe. With the rise of vertical videos on social media, reframing horizontal footage can be super important. So before, while we try to reframe our video, we need to manually keep setting the keyframe to make sure our character is always in the center, which sometimes would take us a lot of time to achieve and the result might not be what we expect it to be. But with the Smart Reframe feature, now we can let the AI engine do it for you in seconds. In your inspector, click on Smart Reframe and select one of two options, Auto or Referencing Point. From my personal experiences, using the Auto options can handle 90% of your work. And if for some reasons, it's not giving you the desirable result or frame, you can always use the References Point options to set the object or area you want to be centered, and that assistant check it for you so that you can get exactly the framing you want depending on your personal preferences. Tip number eight, which is set your favorite. So while we are editing, there must be some video effects or video transition that you use frequently and apply to most of your project. And instead search it in the effect library when every time you want to use them, inside Diverse Resolve, you can simply click the star to add the video effect or video transition inside your favorite library. So next time when you want to use the video effects or sensation you use every time for your video, you can go direct to your favorite library and find that immediately. On top of that, we can also add our LUT to the favorite LUT library. So before, when we want to use LUT, we would either need to go to search the LUT we want to use inside the LUT library, or right click our node to find our LUT under a long list. But by adding your LUT to your favorite folder, then you can find that immediately when next time you want to use it. And in order to do this, just simply click the star on the LUT you want to add to your favorite LUT library, and then when you right click your node and go to your favorite LUT options, then you can find your favorite LUT right away. Now move on to our ninth tip, which is page audio fit. Using fade and crossfade on your audio clips is a really important step to remove pop and brief sounds between audio cuts. Normally, we would need to use this little tag to make our first audio clip to fade out and the second audio clip to fade in. But it's actually quite time consuming if we do our crossfade individually. So inside Diverse Resolve, we actually could batch apply them to an entire timeline in just a second. And all we have to do is go to our fair light section and select all the audio clips you want to do the crossfade. And then we go to fair light menu and choose batch fade setting. Then you want to enable the fading, crossfade, and fade out. And uncheck the override existing options for three of them. For the fading, depending on your need, normally we would use the linear fade, expressive fade, and slow fade. And here I will set it to a linear fade and select three frames. And for fade out, I will also select three frames, but here I will choose express fade instead of linear fade. And for the cross fade, keep it in two frames and make sure to select the equal power options and we click apply. Then last, to apply our batch setting to the selected clips, we will need to go to our fill line menu and choose apply batch fade. And as you can see, now all the audio clips on my timeline have the crossfade between them. And if you take a closer look, like our batch settings in the beginning, the fading part we have is the linear fade, and the fade out we have is the express fade. So now you can see how much time we can save by applying the batch fade for our audio clips compared to the original way. Next, move on to our last tip, which is the focus background. So the focus background is actually also a brand new feature for the Diverse Resolve 19. It's really useful when you want to add some shadow depth of fill or blur the background of your video. And to use it, first we will need to go to our color section and select our node. 
then we will use magic mask to select our subject and once we finish checking then i'm going to my effect library and drag the focus background on our node now as you can see here we not only can blur our background but we can also adjust the saturation or even color blur type for the background and for our rectangle clip because i want to let it look like it has more shadow depth of fill so here i will set my blur to 0.558 and my animal vision to 1.191 and if you compare the before and after, then now you can see my image now have more shadow data feel on our image. And here you have it. I hope after this video, you have more understanding about the convenient feature inside DaVinci Resolve Studio. And hope these tips not only can make your editing life become easier, but also can make your editing workflow become more effective. So I really hope this video was helpful for you. If you like it, please don't forget to click that subscribe button down below and give me a thumbs up. I really want to know what you think about this video. So please leave me the comment in below and I will reply you as soon as possible. So it's a wrap for today's video. I'm Daniel Chang and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.